Pointless Slander and Lies, November 25, 2020 by Anna Vaughn writes. There has recently been a rash of ugly, untrue, and pointless slander on the internet concerning me and my husband, most of it being spread by the shadowy offshore, Reign of the Heaven Society, a group of quasi-religious nutcases who think they own this country because they bought some memorabilia at a naval yard auction. No, I am not a murderer. My husband is not a convicted rapist and human rights violator. These accusations smack of the same kind of drivel as the IRS masterfile which has me down as running a rum distillery in Barbados and has him selling guns in South America. And what's the point? Even if all the crap they spin were 100% true, my husband would still be the hereditary head of state for this country. All the government officials and employees are, sailing, under his trademarks and under his great seals and they are still sailing in his paper ships called corporations in both international and global jurisdiction. I have said it once and will say it again, to conduct official business in international and global business back in the 1700s you had to have sovereign standing. The Belchers had sovereign standing because of the Norman Conquest. They agreed with the philosophy of the Founding Fathers and did two things for this fledgling country, one they acted as the sovereign in international and global jurisdiction and issued the trademarks, patents, and seals necessary. Two, they did for this country what their ancestor, William the Conqueror, did for them, declared that every man who fought in the Continental Army, and everyone who would be born on our soil in the future, would be a sovereign in their own right. My husband's position as the hereditary head of state as a safeguard in the event, as has indeed happened, that the government of the people would be seduced and overcome by guile, and placed into such a position as it could not operate without our assistance. It was with the greatest reluctance that he, an artist, ever stepped forward and issued the order to convene the state assemblies. He has less than no interest in political matters or political power, and was well aware that he might be risking his own life and the lives of his family in order to do it. He is motivated by nothing more or less than love of freedom and love of country and love of his fellow man. He does not wish to see the world overcome by corporate feudalism and all that that entails. Everyone reading this needs to check their own best interests and realize that literally being ruled over by nameless, faceless, inhuman business conglomerates is not a future worthy of mankind and not likely to be a life worth living.